Hey yo, we out here at my buddy's farm. About to do some brand fishing today. Came yesterday and caught a bunch. Didn't have my GoPro. So I'm gonna go back to the same spot we were at yesterday. And then I'll cut the camera back on. Y'all can see that pink cork out there. Straight ahead. I caught a brim, I hung a brim yesterday. He got tangled up in my bass rod. So I took the um, line and broke it and I was gonna pull him in, but I had the wrong line and my, wrong end of the line in my hand and he got away. And he's still on it from the looks of it. So I'm gonna see if I can sneak right up to him and grab that cork and pull it in. Let's see. And he's right over here on this, on this tree. Not on the tree, but close to it. We're gonna see if that corpse got anything on it or if he broke it off. Pretty sure he didn't know. Just quiet down. Try to sneak up to him. And if he's on it, I'll be able to grab that cork with this paddle. That's the cork right there, y'all. It's not really moving. Try to get quiet and get close to it. He might have slipped it off yesterday. We might try to grab it and see the. Yeah, he come off of it yesterday. But I got down. And now we at the spot now, so let's see if they still here and if they bite. Felt like it was a little too early in the day, but most of the time bring them not really care. Well, if they is out here, they ain't button if they, if they're feeding in the rest of the pond, they're not biting here, and they're not here, because yesterday it was back to back to back to back to back, back non-stop. Might have to move around, see if I can find something, but... Bob is sitting right there. Break this up. Uh huh. There he goes, y'all. And I'm gonna keep some of these to eat because this pond is overrun with small bass. I'm talking about overrun bad. So, 
we're gonna keep a few. And that is on my custom one and a half inch paddle tail grub. Back on, I've caught, my buddy's caught a five out of here on that little thing. And I've caught plenty of bass, brim, crappy on it. That's another one. Oh, he turned it loose. Might have been grass. Show off right fast. By golly, I'm gonna help. Let's see how many more brim we can catch out of this spot. Bump it. Them bass are feeding over here, though. I know that much. I'm gonna see if I can get the cord going down on this one for y'all. Every time that court stands up and goes on, I'm aiming the wrong, I'm facing the wrong way. Alright. This time here, I'm facing perfect direction. There it goes. That quick, y'all. That's a nice one, too. He's bigger than the last one. Or he's just tangled up in a lot of weed. Nah, he's bigger than the last one, but he ain't the biggest. I'm going to throw him back, though. I will throw him back because it's hard pressed to catch a big shell cracker out here in this pond. Because everybody knows shell cracker take a while to grow. And he choked. Like, dang, if, he's, if I can get it out, I'll throw him back. If not, he'll get eight. Nope, nope, nope. It come out. No blood. This shell cracker starting to get a little bit bigger in this pond. I'll throw the shell cracker back. I love catching a shell cracker, y'all. And we need more of them in this pond. Therefore, I'm not going to sit here and keep shell cracker that I catch. No, nah, I'm sorry. I don't care who needs bait. Unless I come out here one day looking for bait. Shell cracker is the only thing I'm going to hang, but... I can just about guarantee y'all that ain't gonna happen. For a fact, I know that for a fact. I fished out here too much. Caught very little shell cracker. Here recently, though, I mean, every time I usually catch them, they're small. Super small. Like, half the size of the one I just caught. Here recently, every time I've caught one, that's how big they've been. So, I guess. Got another one. We in them, y'all. As soon as it hit the water. And I hope that ain't another shell. Nope, that's a bluegill. He can come out. I guess you can have that creek. This just goes to show you brim move around just as much as crappy bass and everything else because yesterday that tree i was just sitting at was a hot spot we was catching them jokers left and right at that tree it looked like some brim trying to bed right there but we was catching them left and right at that tree 
and I stopped that earlier yesterday. We caught we was quadrupling up with three people. Tell me how that happens. But we was straight killing them. And today, look, good God, that's a bigger one. That's gonna be old bull gill there. Unless it's just a big shell cracker. Oh yeah, he fell off. Ah, it'll be all right. Though. Watch this. Same spot. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Yep. Got him. See y'all? That easy. When you find them, you find them. Another nice one. If you don't hook me. Well, he went back in too, so. And I'm about to throw this little old piece of cricket over there. Look at that cricket. He's seen better days. But I'm going to cast him over there and catch another one. If the end of my pole will untangle right fast. Yep, there we go. Watch y'all. There he goes. Told y'all. Let's try not to get in a spot. I'm not going to take this one off the hook. I'm going to back up some. Oh, that's a pretty brim, y'all. That is a pretty brim. Look at that brim. Look at that brim right there, y'all. That that's a pretty brim right there, y'all. All right, let me back up right fast. And we'll get back on. I ain't trying to get too close to him. Since they over there like that, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm about to do. I might switch to artificial and see what happens. Nothing. Might be a little too early in the day for them. These pine fish don't eat artificial like the creek river fish, y'all. There's one. Ah, he was eating it. I'll tell you what they're doing though. They're just biting at the tail of it. But the way it sounds. That broom just popped right next to me. It sounds like they're all out here. So look, pulled it down on the hook and had a hook in his mouth. Next one, I think I'll let him just take it. He can have it for a little bit before, he, before I set the hook. Whenever we catch them out here on artificial, though, I'll say this. You hardly ever catch a small one on artificial out here. Like, is it small? I mean, like, small, small. Like, most, when I say you hardly ever catch a small one, I mean most of the fish you catch off of artificial out here are going to be the size of the ones in the bucket, the big ones in the bucket. Not no dinks, but. That's 
bring them anyway. Bass, you can catch all sizes of bass out here. There's just so many small bass. The big ones have resorted to eating them. And I know this because I have hung small bass and way bigger bass have came up to take them from me beside the boat and they will give you a heart attack. So back to the fun part. Watch this, watch this. Three, two, one. Nope, I guess they didn't want to do it that time. I know they're still over there though. Unless my cricket's floating, because I didn't tear his back leg off. There he goes. I don't want to let them take it too long when they hit it like that, and I try to take it from them because otherwise they're going to swallow your hook and then you retine hooks because you couldn't get the hook out of their throat. All right. There it goes, y'all. Uh-huh. He's swimming straight at me. Ain't that big bait. Yep. In that collar out the butt. I'm tired of these brim getting me pulling me through grass and grass on my court now. Uh huh. God dang. He broke my line, y'all. That's what happens when you're not retied up. It'd be all right. Watch this. Ain't been retied. So, my pole line got broke. I mean, my fault entirely. But, I got more quartz hooks. That is one thing I don't have a shortage of. But, for right now, I'm going to cast this down this bank. Because they in this little stretch right here beside the bank. Nothing. All right, so time to re rig this run. I 
I get back with that one, I gotta rig back up. We got it back, y'all. spot a little too far off the bank I believe I'm pretty sure if I leave it there I'll get a bite but it's kind of hard to leave it there when you mean getting bites back to back to back to back to back there we go right there There he goes. Oh snap. I think this might be a bass. But I don't know. I said that hook he took off. Might just be a shield cracker. That's a big bird. Like a shield cracker. No, good God. He's just a strong one, about the same size as the ones we've been catching. Real strong, too. Look at the purple in his head. Y'all, look. That's a pretty brim right there. Don't get me wrong. I love catching bass. Something about a brim. When you pull them out of the water, back to back like this, and they that pretty, like it's just the colors on the bluegill. It's gorgeous. Keep them alive and fresh. And I get ready to freeze them. Put them in some water. And then my buddy that's catfishing tonight. Yeah, there we go. Hang the pole in the back of the boat. I forgot I had to step my pole up back there, y'all. But he goes, there goes another one. Tighten that drag up, it's getting on my nerves. Look at that. These brim out here fight so aggressive. It does not make any sense at all. I had a cricket on my foot. He's going to give me a hard time on putting his hook in his back. Yeah. I wonder why. I reckon he knows. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Nope. He's gonna hit it right after I stopped though. Then again, I guess I was wrong again. There you go, Joe.
let him took, take that one a tad bit too long, but I should be able to get it out without having to kill him. Oh, yeah, I can get it out. Just like that. Another one of them pretty purple nose bluegill. I know they're called copper nose. Down right there is nose. I ain't never seen bluegill with nose this purple, y'all. Look at that purple line on his nose. And it could be because I ain't got no, hardly no cricket on it. Well, I ain't got no bites yet. I ain't put another cricket on it that time. Nope, nope, I lied. They don't care. I didn't put another cricket on it. Didn't even rebate my hook. Had a little piece of head on it, cricket head on it, and that's all it took. Line broke again. It's because I'm wrapping it around that cord. Like I am. I already know that. But shoot. my opinion I got a plenty of broom there's a whole lot more broom than that in here so I'm gonna see if I can't thin down on these bass a tad bit there goes that cork fall off again why is it always this court? It's falling in the water. Let's not drop it in there because I can't get it. Let me get a little closer to this pipe and I'm going to drop this thing right next to that pipe, y'all. I'm going straight up the brim and two bass I'm gonna try to get another bass too just cause they fun to catch on ultra light I got me a side image and fish finder coming in this week, y'all. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of bed fishing for bream this year. And big shell cracker in the PD River. But watch out. That's all I got to say. Cause I want one for the wall. Oh, had one on there. He turned it loose when I put tension on the line. Shouldn't do better. There's one. Uh-huh. This ACC crappy stick, y'all. This ACC crappy sticks is where it's at. If y'all ain't got one, go get you one. And I'm not sponsored by them. The only sponsor I got is myself. And I'm out here catching bass on a crappy rod. Look, not no monsters by any means. I've caught some big ones on this rod. Big jacks, I've caught big shell cracker. I've caught bass a tad bit bigger than this. 
But man, if y'all ain't got one, go check them out. ACCGraphicsticks.com. Pulling bass up off the bottom of ponds like it ain't nothing. That bait right there. After three bass, the head ripped on it. And I mean, this is rigging it on this weedless crap, um, Charlie Boy slider jig head. I'm ripping the heads of these baits up when I fish them. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if you put this thing on a regular jig head, I, I ain't even gonna sit here and try to guess how many fish you can catch on these things. My baits are durable. They last long. Anybody that's ever used them will tell you. Y'all check me out. I ain't got a website right now, but I got a Facebook page called Blind Man Bait Co. The name of these baits, I call them smack baits. Blind Man Bait Co. It's because I'm blind. But there was a brim just popped right there. Let's see if we can get him to eat this. They are on this bank. Got another one, y'all. Like I said, ACC crappy sticks. out here helping me thin these bass down today y'all that's all it's doing that's what we doing thought that was another body might have still been might have been but he turned it loose And it's been hard pressed to get a bass out here to eat a worm this year, but I think I done found the trick to them. These super small baits, they smoking them. The bigger ones eat the worms and stuff on the reel, but these, if you want to come out here and have a good time, you got to throw at another bite. He turn it loose. That's the thing I like these bass too, a lot of times, they like to turn it loose when you, you'll feel them hit it and then they go they don't eat it sometimes you'll come out here and it could be because it's the middle of the day because they don't like to bite in the middle of the day they will on this little bait here though i guess because it's more or less so i'm triggering on it's something small hopping it up and down on the bottom it looks like it's dying chartreuse tail stands out white body Might have been like, just on some weeds down there. I'm gonna throw it around that piece of concrete one more time. I'm gonna get out of here before I get rained on. Normally I wouldn't care about rain, but that don't sound like it's rain.
finish this stump. See what I can. Oh, that was a piece of concrete, not a fish. That was a bite. Little brim on that piece of concrete. Just hit it. This time to go now. Sounds like it's about to drop. The bottom that is. And 